The video review will start in a few seconds, but as a reminder, remember if you have a question, comment, or a suggestion about this video review, the link is provided on the page below. Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com and welcome to another video review. This is just more or less a quick overview of Google Chrome for Android. Now this currently is only compatible with Android 4 Plus. I don't know if they're going to make this compatible with 2 and 3 or not. Probably not. Most new devices these days will have 4 Plus uh, and the Android 4 Plus OS on it. So let me just quickly go through this right here. You can see right away, you can search the web right here. So just type in, you know, a search or the URL. And then also you can switch between the tabs here. So let me just go ahead here and I'll type in three. Right away, it comes down with 3D Game Man. And the reason why I did this is because it syncs the basically desktop Chrome. So your browser that's on your desktop or desktops will be synced with this, so it kind of knows what you're up to on the phone, which is very nice. Click tabs, you can see the tabs that I have open. You can open more if you want to, and you can basically fly between them. Let me just open a new tab here. I'll say 3D Game Man. So now I have three tabs open. Welcome to Google. RodneyReynolds.com and 3dgameman.com and I can kind of like tap on the one I want. I can also flip or slide between the different sites. At the bottom right here are the tabs. We'll show you at the top. We'll also show you recently closed at the bottom so you can click on that if you want to. Here are the bookmarks. Desktop bookmarks, other bookmarks, and mobile bookmarks. And here are the synced computer systems. In my case, I have a couple right here, and it shows me the tabs that I have currently open on them right now. So that's very nice because sometimes you might forget, and you might have that tab open on your computer system, and you say, wow, what is that? But you can open it up right here. It's all synced, and then you can go right into it so it's very very intuitive very easy to use also the browser is extremely fast now something else neat about google chrome for android is the fact that most websites that you go to you read on your standard browser or the browser that comes with your phone a lot of the text is so small you can't read it well with this it intelligently increases the size of the font it kind of predicts what you want to read so in this case for example there's no problem to read the text and it zooms this in so to speak to make it much much easier to read now there are a few issues currently because this is in the beta stages but when this comes out of the beta stages, hopefully a lot of these quirks will be worked out, like, for example, Flash support and some other extension support that's, well, not supported currently with this browser, but that's to come. All things considered, though, this is a kick-ass product, even though it's still in beta. Until next time, take care.